Hello and welcome to my channel, wherein I will try so hard to be artistic, helpful, entertaining, fun, and enjoyable to watch and behold. Well, entertaining, fun, and enjoyable are synonymous, so I'd say that's a good start. So, for my first video, I will try, or did try. Heads up, I'm filming this intro already knowing how the third flips turn out because I finished it last night and I didn't want to film an intro without the assurance that they turn out good because I'm a little pessimist like that. So I tried to upcycle my old and ugly clothes that I haven't worn into less ugly clothes in the hopes that they be a little wearable and fingers crossed they possess a resemblance of those from Reformation. So all of the pieces that you will see are straight out from the thrift store of the Philippines, more commonly known as the Ukai Ukai. Let's just get into the video. We will need needle and threads, your pair of trusty scissors, an elastic longer than this, pins that are safety, a fabric marker, but mine's just a highlighter, <laughs> tape measure, and of course, a sewing machine. You can use one if you have, but mine's not working, so I don't think I need it. Our first victim is this long brown straight cut skirt. I don't know why I bought it, but it's probably the fabric. Niya. I got this for 20 pesos. I wanted this video to be up last week. Unfortunately, I wasn't feeling so productive because my reproductive system finally decided to be productive instead. That my uterus is twice larger. Shout out to all my girls who don't get to have their period every month. So, if you ever notice that I am a little too bloated in this video, you know why. Although, truth is, I'm just trying to rationalize my bad worse eating habits. Welcome to tailoring swift or swift tailoring because you only see time-lapse footages and they're pretty swift. So basically what we're gonna do is figure out how long we'd want the skirt to be and then using my highlighter to mark it, I'm giving it two inches for allowance of the hem, pulling the lining inside out, and I forgot to need a ruler too, just so you'd got it perfectly straight, or so I hope it would be. I'm pinning both the front and back sides to keep it still while we're cutting through. Oh, I'm so forgetful that I forgot to mention we turned this skirt into a cohort. So here I'm getting my measurements for the top with allowances for each. I am laying the tape measure at 10.5 inches for the length of the top. Holding the tape measure at 33 inches for the bust area. I not explain what I did, so I'll just show how I did this. Actually, I don't know what I'm going but basically, I'm just cutting the fabric into a rectangular one, hoping that it will fit me. Then I'm using a sharpie to mark a line down the waist, considering my waistline, and then I cut it, of Now I'm hand sewing the hems on the sides on the wrong sides. Ano daw? Ah, basta yun na yun. Then on the edge of the waistline, I'm folding two half inches in to be sewn with invisible stitches. Ah! It hurts, guys. It hurts. Then I cut two strips of the same fabric to serve as straps, and then I sew the hems on the inside. To turn the right side out, I'm using a safety pin. Oh, I'm so bad at explaining things. Now I'm laying the strips down to see where I want them to be. Tapos puputulan ko siya. Joke tatahin ko siyempre. So here's the invisible hem of the skirt. As you can see, hindi mo siya makikita, guys. Invisible talaga siya. And here's the result. I would wear the skirt, but if I'd rate the top, it's 7 over 10 just because I messed up with the hem. Our second slaughter victim is this maxi colored white dress. This one looks a little too formal that I don't know when to use it. It has flower embroidery around the hem, which is why I have a love-hate relationship with this one. Huh. So what we're gonna do is cut the chest area into a square neck, make it a little casual with puff sleeves, and cut in a little on the waist, maybe. So for the length of the top part, it'll still be 10.5 inches. I'm crossing my fingers, I won't mess this one up because it's like the dress. I'm cutting the sleeves off with an inch allowance so the elastic would have a fabric to be slipped into. But spoiler alert, this is where I messed up, so please don't do this. Then I'm cutting the neckline with a straight line. I'm folding the neckline hem to be sewn with invisible stitches, and here it is. I wish sewing is as easy as saying. <laughs> I'm cutting an inch on the waist. Now I'm sewing the sleeves. You my lalagyan ng card. Di ko explain. 
feeling ko tanga ko dito kasi it's not supposed to look like this. Itong part na to should be hidden and dapat hindi all around yung garter. So, we'll be fixing this. And here's how it turned out. Nagkamali ako sa pag-cut ng sleeves dahil kinat ko ng 1 inch farther yung sleeves. Nagkulang ng fabric yung sa bust area. Kaya medyo mas masikip siya na ewan. Hindi ko maintindihan. But please don't make the same mistake I did. I would rate this 9 over 10 and I would definitely wear this still. Mm, I might be having a little too much fun here. Okay, I don't know how to TikTok, but here's a failed attempt. Oh my gosh, that's so cringy. Our third and final candidate is this ribbed purple. Hindi ko alam anong tawag dito. It fits so oddly na hindi ko siya masuot-suot. But because I love purple so much, we are transforming this into something fancy schmancy. So we're cropping this. We're turning this into a cardigan tube set. I'm using the, this crop top that I have as a guide for the length of the cardigan. It took me a solid three years to finally be sure where to cut it exactly, although I have a guide. <laughs> but guess what? We're cutting it anyway. So here it is, the spare fabric would serve as our tube top. And for the cardigan, we will cut the front side in half. I'm just looking for the center, which is in the middle. Surprisingly, nakakaloka, diba? Ayan guys, kinot ko na siya. Amazing! Nakakat pala siya, no? Ngayon, gagawa na naman ako ng invisible hem. Kasi wala naman akong ibang magagawa, wala akong makina. At lalong hindi ko pwedeng i-cancel tong video na to kasi malapit na akong matapos. Ngayon pa ba ako susuko? Ayan, tapos na guys. Ang bilis ko, diba? Sabi ko sa inyo, ako si Taylor Swift eh. Romeo, save me! Tapos na siya para I don't have pearl buttons na may lalagay. But what I have is a pair of brown pants with diamond hooks sa lower part. Pero hindi ko to kasha. So, itong gagamitin ko as buttons. Ayan, nahuli pa yung video kaysa sa VO. Bilisan mo, girl. Originally, gusto ko sana mag-upcycle ng 4 to 5 clothing pieces. In which case, my one week ago self would have wished she knew how tedious strip flips are. Well, I guess we will only really know once we get there and when we cross the bridge. For the tube, itong hem na to ang gagawin ko ang lalagyan ng elastic. And then, medyo malapad tong fabric so ikakat ko siya according to my size. Siyempre, di ba? So, allowance as always, never forget. But of course, my waistline tayo kasi hindi naman tayo manananggal kaya ikakat na naman natin tong sides to fit the waist at bakit ko minimeasure lahat pero saglit lang to guys promise and then cut ayan hindi pantay Um, dinanan ako na mama ng pearl buttons, hindi ko alam. But we will make use of these because it will do the magic, definitely. I'll sew these along with the diamond hooks that I had already sewn in. And finally, here's the result! What a wonderful I didn't sew the hem of the tube, so you can see that I just tucked it in because it looked too loose and hanging without a purpose. So please sew your hems so it won't mess up. But regardless, I would still wear this whether together or separately, especially the cardigan. I love it. I love you, Charot. So as you can see, and would probably say this thrip slip is not 99% its best, but nevertheless, I'm happy with how this video turned out as a whole. I'm doing the voiceover now and been editing this the past days, so I guess you can say I've been sleep deprived, but I just really want to put in the work. So Sana, you guys appreciate and enjoy this video. Here are a few bloopers and outtakes. Oh my god, there's something. There's people. Oh. 
Oh, it's so hot here in America. Just kidding. I'm in Australia. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos that I hope to do in the future. Bye! Keep safe. God bless.